May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And it's been 43 years since the first proclamation of an AAPI heritage celebration here in the U.S. And we are marking the month by speaking with a leader in the community working to empower the Asian American community overall. That's right. Grace Pai joins us now. She is the executive director of Asian Americans Advancing Justice in Chicago. Grace, welcome. It's really great to have you with us. Can you give us a bit of the history of AAPI Heritage Month and why it's celebrated in May? So API Heritage Month actually started out as a week-long celebration. And as you mentioned, it only became a month in 1990. And so it's celebrated in May because May marks some important milestones for the Asian American community. It was um, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad happened in May in the late 1800s. It also was a month when we had the first Japanese immigrants coming to the United States. Of course, the Asian American and Pacific Islander community is extremely diverse. And so it's, you know, I think important to lift up all of the different facets of our community throughout this month. But it was part of a wave of different marginalized communities and racial minorities advocating for federal recognition of our heritage and our and our histories and our cultures. And so, you know, there are similar months like Black History Month um, for other communities. We're working on preparing teachers to teach Asian American history because we know that so many of our educators didn't actually learn Asian American history themselves, right? So there's a learning curve there. But we are extremely supportive of efforts in other states. In fact, New Jersey already became the second state in the country to pass an Asian American history mandate and others are well on their way. So we've been coordinating with advocates in other states because we feel like the momentum is really on our side and education is a great way of addressing some of the root causes of the anti-Asian violence and sentiment that we've seen grow over these last few years. All right, Grace Pye, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Good morning, CMS. It's Monday, May 8th, and it is a B-Day. I'm Mr. Bernstein, and let's get right into it. Attention Baking Club, our final online meeting will be tomorrow at 4 o'clock on Google Meet. We'll make muffins. Check Google Classroom for necessary ingredients. Attention all 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. This is a reminder you will be taking the ELA portion of the NJSLA on May 16th and 17th. On these days, please bring in a set of headphones and have your Chromebook charged. Attention Colonia Middle. On Saturday, May 13th, Woodbridge Township will be hosting the POAC Autism Walk at Woodbridge High School. Friday's Friends is looking for volunteers to join our team. Please see Ms. Skiba in room 102 for details or grab a flyer from the cafeteria bulletin board. Hope to see you there. Friday's Friends will be selling bracelets and pins for autism awareness this week during both lunches for $1. We are raising funds to support the Woodbridge Autism Walk on Saturday, May 13th. Gardening Club. Group A will be meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, May 9th, in room 102, after school. Please see Ms. Skiba or Ms. Batorsky with any questions. PBIS. Attention all students and teachers. The last day to redeem Patriot points will be Friday, June 9th. All teachers must redeem points on the Teacher Rewards app as points will not carry over into next year. All students must redeem points in the school store by June 9th deadline. Once prizes and rewards are sold out, they will not be replenished. First come, first serve. Attention chorus members. We will have our regularly scheduled dress rehearsal on Thursday after school in the cafeteria. On Friday, May 12th, we will be having our dress rehearsal during Block 4 in the cafeteria. Please wait for an announcement before heading to the cafeteria. Any questions, please see Mr. Plisniarski. There will be a Girls Who Code Club meeting this Wednesday, May 10th, after school in room 312. Mrs. Jardo realizes that we are not meeting on our scheduled day of Thursdays, and some of the members may have a conflict. If you do, it's okay if you cannot attend. Have a Patriot Day.